Human bodies are diverse, but current human pose and shape regressors tend to predict mean shape bodies. One reason is their focus on body pose, which can easily be labeled via 2D key points. For body shape, however, key points are not sufficient. Just imagine somebody gains weight. Their shape changes while the skeleton remains the same. Recent methods use silhouettes to address this problem, but they tend to overestimate body shape when a person wears loose clothing. Ideally, to train a 3D body shape regressor, we'd have a data set of images in the wild with ground truth 3D scans or the parameters of a body model like SimpleX. If you don't know SimpleX, think of a function that takes pose and shape parameters as input and outputs a 3D mesh. Unfortunately, obtaining thousands of 3D scans paired with images in the wild is impractical. So how can we address this lack of training data? One option is to use sparse anthropometric measurements, such as height or circumference measures. However, taking them precisely requires practice, and they're also difficult to collect for images in the wild. Our insight is to use language. We have many words to describe body shape. Look at this woman. How would you describe her shape? I would describe her as tall, curvy, and pear-shaped. We can even provide a rating of how tall and how curvy she is. But is this sufficient to train a regressor? Surprisingly, yes. We show that we can use linguistic descriptions of body shape to train a metrically accurate body shape regressor. Specifically, to use the new shape labels in regressor training, we create new data sets and learn mappings between different shape representations. First, we collect images along with sparse anthropometric measurements provided by model agency websites. We follow related work and compute virtual measurements on the simple X mesh. To use linguistic shape attributes, we draw inspiration from body talk, where the authors train a model to predict attribute ratings from shape parameters and vice versa. From body talk, we select the 15 most relevant words for males and females. Then we ask workers on Amazon Mechanical Turk to indicate how much an attribute applies to a body shape from the CSAR dataset. With this data, we fit a polynomial model shape to attributes or S to A for short, that predicts attribute ratings from simple X shape parameters. Our model predicts that Bob has broad shoulders, is rather masculine, muscular and short. We also collect shape attribute ratings for the model agency images. Next, we use our large data set of images with anthropometric measurements and attribute annotations in network training. Our network shape here outputs simple X pose and shape parameters. The simple X shape is passed to our virtual measurements and shape to attribute modules. We define losses that encourage the predicted measurement and attributes to be close to the ground truth. We use an ablation study to test different combinations of losses. Interestingly, the model that only uses linguistic shape attributes for shape supervision is better than a model that only uses anthropometric measurements. Here are some qualitative examples. Note how shape you precisely capture subtle changes in body shape and compared to prior art is less confused by clothing. To quantitatively evaluate Shapey, we capture a new data set because existing benchmarks either have few subjects or no ground truth body shape. Our human bodies in the wild data set consists of ground truth 3D scans of 25 subjects and images taken in the wild and in the lab. Shapey is significantly better than state of the art on HBW. Our results also show that silhouettes are a good approach for minimal or tight clothing. The key takeaway 
is that linguistic descriptions of body shape are sufficient to train a metrically accurate 3D body shape regressor. Maybe we can use language beyond human bodies for learning 3D shape from images. Thank you for listening.